Hey guys, uh, so a couple weeks ago I showed you how to export uh, stems from GarageBand so that you can mix them in another DAW. Now as you'll see, there are some audio files in here that can be consolidated. However, there are some files in here that are MIDI tracks like this one. And this one you can tell by the, the way the little looks like ants marching. Uh, so those absolutely need to be um, exported the same way that I showed you in the video a couple weeks ago. But a good friend of mine, uh, Ben Chambliss, told me that he has found a better way. And uh, I wanted to take a variation of what he showed me and uh, possibly show you a better way to get things out of GarageBand if they're audio files and not MIDI files. MIDI files still need to be printed to an audio file. And I don't know of a way to do that in GarageBand. So let me show you here. Okay, so this lead vocal here, male ambient vocal, uh, it needs to be consolidated. But the problem is, is if we consolidate the file, we uh, grab all of these files, we can hit Command J for join, and it will join these files together. But the problem is, it's not gonna start back at the beginning of the session, which is gonna make it hard to just drag your files into another DAW. So what I'm gonna do as a, I guess a uh, hack to that is just go to the beginning of the session, put this track in record and just record for, just record enough to get some audio in at the very beginning, right? So now we've got an audio file at the very beginning. It's called lead vocal. Now what I want to do is uh, let's zoom in, grab all of these files, everything on this track, hit Command J, and what this will do is bounce that track's audio files with no effects. So it's going to do a quick scan, no effects, and it's going to make a continuous wave file of that. So if you'll notice, it's called lead vocal 01 merged. So what I want to do is name that. Let's rename that region uh, to lead vocal consolidated. Okay. So now that file is named that. So if you go to the GarageBand session that you're using, which is this one, and you right click on it, you can hit show package contents. That will open up a hidden folder and you want to look under media. If you'll notice your lead vocal is here, lead vocal 01 merged, even though we renamed it, that's the one we want to use. So now that is the lead vocal that we can export to our other file. Now, in some cases I've been successful in merging those lead vocals and all of the other takes, which would be these, would be taken away and you would only have that folder. It could be that the session is still open, but anyway, if you're careful about um, taking your your first audio region from the very beginning of the song and then exporting the whole chunk and then uh, being careful how you name it, you can absolutely copy and paste these or actually drag them out of here. Of course, when you drag them out, be careful because you won't be able to use the uh, GarageBand session anymore. So I would make a copy. You can hold Option and pull it out in it. And when you see the plus sign, you can drag it to another folder. So then you can just go in here and drag the folders out. Uh, the then you can just go out. Then you can just go into this folder, drag out what you need, and you're ready to import into the next session. So hopefully this has been helpful. And uh, this is just a little addendum to the tutorial that I did a couple weeks ago. Hope it's been helpful. I know that uh, I'm going to be remembering this when I have to export things from GarageBand uh, into another DAW. So, hey, I've got a free resource for you. It's at mixcoach.com forward slash checklist. It's a seven point checklist of what I do when I do every mix. So it's free to you and uh, hopefully you'll go and grab it and I'll see you next week.